What's up guys? It is Stoof here from Travel Season. Welcome back to our channel. In this video, we're going to talk about the Grinnell Glacier Hike in Glacier National Park, Montana, United States. This hike is located in Glacier National Park, Northwest Montana, close to the Canadian border. This particular hike is in the Many Glacier section of Glacier National Park. This area is not part of the going to the sun road. This is a whole different section in the northeast corner of the park. I will leave coordinates for the trailhead in the description under this video. This hike is 11.2 miles out and back with 2,180 feet elevation gain. This is a difficult hike. It is strenuous. There's a lot of uphill. There are lots of rocks in the path. Uh, so trip hazards, there are slippery rocks from waterfalls features on the side of the trail and there are steep drop-offs so this is not a good hike for kids uh, this is a strenuous hike not recommended for people that are new to hiking that being said if you are able to do this hike this is one of the most incredible hikes i have ever experienced you'll see glacial lakes waterfalls more waterfalls wildflowers wildlife and of course, the main attraction, Grinnell Glacier. The first few miles of this hiking trail are relatively flat. You start at the trailhead just past Swift Current Lake. We got there at 7, 10 a.m. and we were one of the last few vehicles to get a spot in the parking lot. If you can't get a spot in this parking lot, you're gonna have to park in the big parking lot down by the Swift Current Motor Inn, which is a little bit more of a walk from there to the trailhead. So I recommend you get there early if you wanna get a parking spot. You start by walking through the woods and then you'll come to a beautiful viewpoint of Swift Current Lake. You continue walking along the relatively flat path in the woods and then it comes to a little bit more of an open area when you get to Lake Josephine. And I wanted to mention that if you would like to take a few miles off of the flat part of this hike at the beginning, you can book a reservation with the Glacier Park Boat Company for their many glacier tour where you can take a boat ride across Swift Current Lake and Lake Josephine. You would start your hike basically from the base of Lake Josephine. And it would shave off a couple miles of the flat portion of this hike. You don't really miss out on any of the strenuous hiking though. The strenuous hiking starts after Lake Josephine, where you really start to incline and go up the slope along the ridges where some waterfalls are along your path. You get these gorgeous, views of Grinnell Lake. It has that bright aqua powdery blue color from the glacial flower. I talk more about glacier flower in my iceberg lake video if you're interested in learning how the water turns that blue color. And then you continue wrapping around. Uh, eventually you'll come to the view of the Grinnell Glacier itself. And just before that last steep uphill section, you'll find a pit toilet, which is great. Little outhouse looking thing. You can use the bathroom there, pack in and pack out your own toilet paper if you need it. After the pit toilet, you'll come to that last major incline section and I was panting there. That was rough. Lots of switchbacks there. Then you come to this nice flat area you'll come to the highest point and then you'll see another big waterfall coming down into Upper Grinnell Lake and you can walk around this area. Upper Grinnell Lake is a great spot to have a lunch break, little snack break, have some water, relax before you start making the trek back down. Uh, but the trail doesn't end here. If you are comfortable enough to continue, you're welcome to continue along this path all the way to Grinnell Glacier itself. As you're hiking along Upper Grinnell Lake, you'll continue until you see a sign that says, caution, it's not recommended to go past this sign. You have to cross over some rocks that go over a stream and a couple little cascading waterfalls. Uh, and that is slippery and not the safest thing to do. So be very careful if you do continue to go past that point. If you go past that point, you can hike to the actual glacier. Okay. 
very excited right now. I'm about to touch a glacier. This is the Grinnell Glacier Hike in Glacier National Park. This is the first glacier I've ever been this close to. And this is basically the point where the glacier feeds into this lake. Oh, there's some bones up here. Look at this, Nate. Look at this. Wow, somebody like organized them. Not sure what animal it was. But anyway, here's the glacier. Glaciers are dangerous because there are crevasses that can be covered by shallow snow bridges. Uh, so you can fall in those crevasses, which are dangerous. Uh, another scary thing about glaciers is it's hard to tell when you're standing on glacier versus rock when you're near the lake because the glacier picks up all those rocks uh, and has rocks like all over it. It's really hard to tell if you're standing on floating ice or if you're standing on hard ground. So be very careful if you do go over to the That's glacier ice. itself. That's, that's ice for sure. I saw it moving. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely moving. Wow. <laughs> that's ice, that's all ice. So this day was very exciting for me because I had never touched a glacier before and that was on my bucket list. So I achieved one of my bucket list items this day after we made it back to the solid ground area over by Upper Grinnell Lake, we just had some lunch and then we headed back down the same way we came in. And on the way back, we saw some beautiful bighorn sheep walking along the cliff side. And your views on the way back are just as beautiful as they are on the hike up. And that wraps up our hiking experience to the Grinnell Glacier and back. We really enjoyed this one. I will definitely be back. I would love to do this hiking trail again one day when it's a little earlier in the season and it's a clear sunny day without any wildfire smoke in the air. That would be awesome. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions about this hike, leave a comment under this video and I'll get back to you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and check out some of the other awesome hikes we have videos for in Glacier National Park. Thanks again for joining us. Have a great day and happy travels. Bye bye.